The Lord has shown me the ultimate answer and the ultimate question to existence. It's up to you whether or not you like the answer. Without God, you won't like the answer, but with Christ, you'll be overjoyed. The answer to life to a computer is literally 42, just like the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But what does 42 mean? We can either accept Christ that carried his cross that actually cares about us, or we can be entertained by the enemy and his care bearers, which is a symbol of the mockery of God and perversion. In 2 Kings 2, Elisha was made fun of due to his baldness, and he called two female bears to attack them. They killed 42 evil children in Bethel. Strong's Hebrew 1234 is baka, meaning to be ripped and cleaved, like Christ's torn veil in his judgment, when he was crucified to provide salvation to everyone, John 316. In Japanese, baka means stupid, and in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the super AI computer says the meaning to life is 42, a coding term for 101010, or an equation for the speed of light traveling around atoms. The spirits which inspired that film were literally referencing 2 Kings 2. The supercomputer says it can't answer the ultimate question of existence, so it says it will create a supercomputer which will consume everything, assimilate all things, like the robot in The Day the Earth Stood Still, and made a simulation called Earth to find out the ultimate question, but this is just the enemy trying to take over God's creation with a matrix lie. The fallen angels denied God and then doubled down by colluding to destroy creation after they weren't accepted back, as ascribed in the Book of Enoch. They rejected God and rejected love, who created them, and so their meaning to life became hedonism while trying to destroy everything while mocking God every step of the way, their demonic Freemason steps just for people to fall into hell. The meaning to life is to love God and others the way he made, not follow a demonic world or matrix system inside of God's creation, a worldview filled with lies. Whether it's God's creation or some secondary system inside of it, like Inception, the point is to love and to be mutually symbiotic and even balance of holiness. Anything which goes against creation bucks the system and causes chaos and an imbalance of have and have nots, like Dr. Seuss and the Sneetches. Even if a video game is made, people get upset if it's attacked by a virus and it starts becoming buggy, like the enemy is trying to do in creation, like the movie The Mandela Effect. The meaning to life is not nepotism or favoring your own, more for you and less for them, which leaves people without who are unloved, just like the rich man and Lazarus in God's word. Like the Teletubbies with screens on their bellies, Care Bears have pictures on their bellies too, like a blue-bellied lizard. This is symbolic of people denying their gut feeling and them spiritually eating the devil's operate conditioning with electronics. Like the movie Annihilation that has a bear zombie, one of the characters' intestines turns into snakes or eels. This is representative of the rich elite pork bellying people's money and not following God, not being holy but wicked. Like Elon Musk's demonic answer to AI, which is to assimilate or perish, this is an excuse, a justification to become slaves to their matrix system. Christ carried his cross, which is like a carry-on, like this wayward son, for airplanes, which is called luggage or baggage, and symbolic of the enemy's spiritual covering, holding on to the world and not letting go, or forgiving through God's salvation. People accepted the world to take plane flights to have vacations and gather physical things instead of spiritually loving people and preparing for the afterlife by avoiding the MOTB. This life is not the end, at least for those who accept Christ and his salvation. But those who deny him are like the dolphins in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie saying, thanks for all the fish. But what they're really saying is, we took advantage of people and now we're going to die. Luggage starts with a lug, like a lug nut. And most nuts and bolts have a hex head with six sides, like the Star of David, like their demonic Zionism, like Zion off of the Matrix, which is a spelling for magic and cursing. When you reject God, you reject love and cause disorder to an already perfect creation. Pride causes the enemy and all who listen to him to become like robots, not thinking and not feeling. Even if the enemy assimilated everything just to start fresh and make his own creation, nothing would ever be enough because there wouldn't be any love inside. Heartless. And so the answer to life without God, trying to be your own God, is literally 42, which means going against your own creator, and all you get is your own annihilation, like Elisha and the bears, and the 42 wicked children. But the answer to everything is God's love. 
Holy Spirit, and His creation, existing how He created us, and to love others like He loved us first, living life without limits, however He pleases. Instead of being a sad butter robot like Rick and Morty, living inside of the devil's deception like a puppet, being changed to suit his whims whenever he chooses, like a Barbie doll. Like Gore off of Thor Love and Thunder, who kills a fallen angel eating the fruit like the Garden of Eden, while him and his family starve to death in the Great Tribulation. The devil's purpose for you in life is to possess you, live a life in your body like Avatar, then discard you. To the devil, you were created to die for his own hedonism while you experience the things that happen to you in your body like a third person being tricked into thinking you have free will or freedom of choice without the Lord. It's your choice. Repent. Amen.